Hey there, I'm Dr. Michelle, and I just wanted to take a quick second to educate you guys on the different types of thermography. The one that is most commonly used in the United States is one called breast thermography, and that's done with a camera. And that is looking at just the surface changes in the breast tissue using an infrared camera. Um, and then the next evolution of thermography from there was that they extended that camera to do whole body versions. So there's also whole body camera thermography, but the challenge with both of those types of thermography is that we're really looking at surface temperature changes and it's very subjective um, according to whoever is reading the report and doing the interpretation. So that means you're gonna get different opinions depending on who you go to. What is much more empirical and what's a lot more data-based is the type of thermography that we do, which is really the next evolution of thermography. And it was created by Germans and medical doctors in Germany over 30, 40 years ago. And what it does is it actually takes individual temperature readings on over 119 points on the skin. It's not a camera, it's not a scan. It's literally a technician taking individual point readings before and after you do a cooling period. And what that does is it allows us to see how all the organs and systems are responding. And the reason why that's so important in breast health or any type of health prevention is because in breast in particular, most cancer doesn't originate in the breast. It comes from somewhere else because breast tissue is simply lymphatic tissue. And so a lot of the toxicity makes its way to the breast tissue, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it originates there. And there are so many things that can affect your breast tissue from your liver to your hormones, to your thyroid, to certain teeth that you have in your mouth. So when we're doing regulation point thermography, we can look at the individual functionality of all of those components that affect the breast tissue so that we know even if something is going wrong, we know where it's coming from and why. And that's why regulation point thermography is really the way you wanna go if you're trying to get to the root cause of something versus the camera version. So really we've kind of taken this to the next evolution of thermography to get you guys the best answers possible. And I hope this educates you a little bit and gives you a better idea of what you're looking for. So thanks so much for joining my explanation and happy healing. Bye.